what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel today i am so excited because this video we are doing crochet braids and i'm not gonna lie it's been a hot second since i've done some illusion crochet braids which if you haven't heard of that before it's basically kind of sealing that line between my hair and the crochet hair kind of creating an illusion making it look more wig like if anything or more natural looking one of my other goals or fears was that this is a lot of hair like a lot and i didn't want although i do love big bouncy beautiful hair i did not want it to be huge on me this is 20 inch so i wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to be super puffy or hard to manage as the weeks go by <laughs> So to start off with, we are using the Free Trust Crochet Braids Natural Volume 3 times Soulful Curl, and this is in the 20 inch. I knew I wanted the hair to be super long, so I went with this. I saw another girl try it, and I absolutely loved the curls. They're not super big and bouncy, you know, they're small, and this is the type of hair that when you pull it apart, of course, it's going to get bigger as you go. So my hair, in terms of my own personal hair, I I do have these corn rolls in. You guys saw if you watched my wash day video, I just put these in after I had a nice wash day. They're nothing special and I don't do any fancy particular braiding for my crochet braids. I just do straight back corn rolls, but just in case you're wondering, there are different braiding patterns that people follow to do crochet braids. So I would definitely check that out if interested. So on to the actual crochet part. You're basically taking the hair, it comes in bundles but within each pack, it's three separate bundles. I take those apart and then I take each little cluster of curls and I pull that apart into two sections. I do this because I, again, didn't want this to be too full. I wanted to make sure it was going to be full but still not too much. Basically, I wanted to make sure it was going to be tame and also I knew I wanted to cut it into a specific shape shape if that makes sense so yeah i was making sure to split each one into two pieces i think that did it for me i didn't want to go to three pieces or anything like that because again the more you pull it apart as you can see it does get fluffy and i personally like that look because i feel like it makes it look a lot more natural <laughs> Okay, so in terms of the actual crochet hook, it's pretty simple. You're taking the hair and putting it into the hook, closing it, and then you're going to slide that through your braid. I try to slide it towards the inside of my braid, if that makes sense. I don't want a thin piece of hair holding that one crochet braid. Obviously, that's gonna take your hair out, and that is mistakes I have made before, so I make sure to get up in there and make sure that it's tight. And then basically, you're looping it around, so once you pull it through, you're also you're basically gonna tie it and make a loop so you bring the hair underneath and tie it tight and that's what kind of creates the little knot and I am just going all the way up the braid um, how do I know where to stop as far as going forward I really just navigate based on my hair everyone's hair is gonna be different some of y'all I've seen have some a really strong baby hair the front of your hair is just very thick and strong and you are blessed for that but some of us are not that blessed and i do tend to have thinner hair towards the front of my head so with styles like this i have to be careful because although it is a protective style it can easily turn into a damaging style if you don't do it the right way so to avoid having my edges pulled out i make sure i just really just measure it by when my braid actually starts when i'm doing my corn rolls again still learning beginning process but when I do them I try to get as close as the root as possible but usually the braid actually only starts when my hair gets like really thick and I think that's just because of how much hair I'm able to grip so yeah I usually stop there and fill in the rest going down I just kind of tied my actual hair into a bun, the braids, the ends of the braids, just to kind of keep it out of the way. And if you're asking, girl, isn't this gonna be visible? Aren't you gonna be able to see it? No, the hair is so thick 
um, and you're gonna see it gets so big that it really does conceal that bun so you don't even have to worry about it and I didn't have to go and sew it down or braid it down or anything like that I've seen some girls do that in the past and I've also done that myself in the past but that's what I love about big curly hair is that it can kind of conceal the more unflattering parts of our braid out but yeah, I am working my way through my head. This did not take long at all if you're wondering. It's a pretty quick process, especially after you get the hang of things. At the beginning, I hadn't done these. It had been it had been a hot second since I had done this hairstyle. And when I haven't done a hairstyle in a long time, it takes me a minute to remember. It's kind of like muscle memory, but at the same time, I'm like, I just be confused. So I did have to go back and like jolt my memory a little bit on how to do it. But once you do it, it's the easiest easiest process ever and you're literally just sit there put a podcast on put some music on and go and crochet and go row one and go row two we done so I basically worked on either side of my head and I did this on purpose because I wanted to make sure at first I was going to low key no actually very high key I wanted a middle part um, I thought that that's what I wanted but I actually ended up doing a side part in the end and liked that a lot better but because at the beginning I was gonna do a middle part that's why I was kind of doing a row on each side because I wanted the two top rows to be very specific obviously that was gonna be kind of where the leave out was so yeah and this is just me showing you that we are officially on pack number two so I was really trying my hardest to kind of really like I had a hawk eye on all of these packs of hair I was trying to use my goal was two and a half packs that was my goal for my head because I didn't want to use all three I thought that was gonna to be too full I will say that with everything I used to fill in plus you know the pieces I had to go back in and refill after I was finished I ended up using pretty much all three packs and I'm not ashamed of it because the way it turned out it actually wasn't like super crazy poofy like I thought it was going to be but keep that in mind that I did end up using all three packs even though I'm kind of showing you progressively how much it looks like and this is like a half and a couple of strands right now so it got pretty full I will say off of the packs but I definitely don't think you'll need more than three if that's what you're wondering Alright, so now we've reached the portion of the video where this is kind of what I failed to do in the past when I would do crochet braids is shape the hair. It's kind of just like natural hair in that way where it's like if it's super long and heavy, it's got to come out looking like it doesn't have a shape or anything to it. So I'm just basically going in and trying and attempting to give it some shape. Now I am not a professional cutter if that's even a thing or um, a professional stylist I guess is a better way to say it but I basically I've cut hair a lot like wigs and stuff in the years so that's kind of what I was going off of and what I'm really doing is just cutting down kind of in a V shape I really want the hair to look layered and have that nice natural look to it so that's why I'm kind of doing Okay, so everyone calm down. The part we've all been waiting for, just kidding. But this is the part where we go in and do the actual illusion part of the crochet. So the illusion is basically making it look as though these knots are non-existent. The knots can also, I mean, often they're like a dead giveaway that you have crochet braids. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because I think they look beautiful either way, to be quite honest. But since I learned this way, I have been a lot more satisfied with how they look. I think it just looks a lot more natural and I can kind of style it however I want. So I'm taking this little knife and this is one of those facial knives from the beauty supply store and I'm basically going in and very carefully, very carefully, be careful, <laughs> but I'm just rubbing it in a downwards motion. And this is cutting the hair on the crochet braid and don't worry, I know where my hair is and where the crochet braid starts so there's no fear of cutting my actual hair, but it's basically kind of creating this fuzzy thick border around the knot so it almost kind of disappears and makes it look as though it's coming out of your head 
Now, the cons of doing this, there aren't many, but one of the cons are I've tried to do baby hairs with this, like do little baby hairs with the crochet braids, and it don't work. It doesn't look as good because the whole point of this is to kind of give it that natural, I dare to say, afro look or natural curly really natural out the scalp. I'm not saying this looks like it could definitely be my hair, but I'm saying it looks more wig-like if anything. We are just going to fill it in and do not worry, I know that it looks really gappy right now. I actually went in later and filled in with the rest of the leftover hair I had. Right now, it's about two and a half packs. There was about maybe two clusters left, like within the three cluster pack. So I, that's pretty much how much I had and I did go in and fill in a lot more. Um, these styles, again, I really always like to tell people that it's not a one day style, even though I can do it in a day, it didn't take that long. But for me, like every day, or at least for the first couple of days, I'll always go back and be like, mm, this could be fuller, like maybe I could trim here or cut here. So it is a little bit of a process in that way and maybe that's just me, it could definitely be done in one day, but yeah. I basically went back in and trimmed it and you know took the razor and did a little bit more on the edges but this is pretty much the final look I think it turned out really good I'm really excited just because it wasn't super full and that was my biggest thing was I just didn't want it to be overly full to the point where it just looked like a giant lion's mane on top of my head especially with this length I was like it's gonna swallow me so I made sure to uh, keep that into account So here is our final look. Keep in mind that this hair, although it is big and long and curly, it is not heavy and that is a win in my book. It gives you the style and look of long hair without actually the weight of it, which is awesome. Okay, so before we go, I want to give you guys a little two and a half week update on how the hair is holding up, and I was obsessed with this. I liked it so much more than I thought I was, which is crazy. I really did not think this is one of those styles that I was going to wear for an actual two and a half weeks. Y'all know I love to change my hair a lot, but this style, it really grew on me. Um, I think it grew better with age, so as time went on it did get poofier and I ended up liking that because again it just kind of added to that natural look. In terms of maintenance and taking care of it, I as you can see would clip off the ends, any fuzzy pieces that I felt like just didn't add to the hair. Now I did keep most of the fuzzy pieces because again I like the aesthetic that it gave. It gave it a lot more of a natural look and if you don't understand what I'm talking about it's just kind of like look at the top of my head how the curls are super defined and then kind of in the middle they just get a little bit um, poofier. I don't really know how to describe it but yeah I just think it looked a lot more natural this way but basically just trimming it when I felt the need to and then also what I did to kind of preserve it of course is at night I would sleep with a bonnet on it. And I wanted to add this part in because this is what always happens to me. So I was taking this hair out because it's it's been it's been a while. I need it, it need to come out. And I was cutting it because I was like, let me cut it into a bob just to see what it looked like. And of course I ended up loving it and I was like, why didn't I do this like halfway through? I could have worn it like this for a whole couple of weeks. Like I was pretty upset, but we were already kind of far, so I went ahead and took them out. But just in case you were wondering, um, what a shorter version of this hairstyle would look like. I think the shape was super cute and you should definitely try it out. That is going to be it for today's video. If you are interested in this hair, it will be linked below in the description box. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!